Welcome to another amazing Spider-Man review. This time we're looking at the Walmart exclusive 6 inch scale lizard figure. Uh, this is a great, great figure I have to say. Um, the level of detail that they put on this just really reaches and ex expectations what I was hoping for. Uh, but it does have a few of the problems. Um, which we'll, I'll get into in a little bit. As far as posability goes, he does have a what feels just like a standard swivel in the upper part of the neck, and he does have this real interesting uh, neck articulation, which you can really only have like this because if it's you have it back like that, it just looks like he's just like had a hole put in his throat from years and years of smoking which is not attractive guys and he does have a uh, standard shoulders biceps will uh, real nice clicky double hinged elbow wrist swivel does have a real nice ball joint feel uh, mid torso joint there standard hip thigh swivel and uh, knee double knee joint and a little bit of ankle no foot articulation and his tail can go up and down now his tail is probably one of the more anno annoying quirks uh, about it because it comes in package with the tail actually detached and you have to put it on yourself and the way the connection works it's not exactly the best and it's quite frustrating at first because you feel like it goes on but then just like uh, just gently tapping it, it will come off, except for right now, because actually it kind of fixed itself. And no matter how hard you try to push the tail on, it just won't click on until some sort of freak accident where it, it, the tail is pretty much stuck on it because it's like pieces of plastic with a peg that go in and kind of lock around it, so it's not going anywhere. Unless you just like just rip break it off which I have no intentions on doing um, size of this figure is really impressive too um, we take uh, get him to stand up here he is with just the uh, regular spider-man from the same line so you can see that he's a good bit taller and clumsy on. That's my favorite pose for him. In fact, uh, let me get Hulk real quick. So you can see while he is a fair amount skinnier, he is actually the lizard is actually just a tad tad bit taller than the Avengers six inch Hulk, which is amazing. I didn't never expect it to be this tall. And they're both green. Hmm. Enough of Hulk here. Uh let's get a couple good shots of uh, the detail. Let's see he has a real expressive expressive face you can see the kind of uh, s cuts in the side of the mouth that give him a little bit of appearance of a wider mouth and just be more uh, reptilian scales all over it different shades of green really makes it look authentic the feet are real tiny as you can see I do have a fair amount of difficulty trying to get him to stand, but it's nice that he has that tail that also gives him a nice amount of support back. Looks equally nice. And I was I was really concerned that his long neck with his like weird kind of our, uh, movement there was going to not be so great because it does it in promo shots it did not look very good but in person 
it looks very nice. And of course he does, oh, um, he comes with, for, I almost forgot, his little pets. Comes with giant ass uh, iguana, uh, a little gecko, and a uh, bearded dragon. So he can have his uh, little army down there. And just like Spider-Man and the other Avengers, he comes with a stand, which I already have attached to uh, the one that came with Spider-Man, interlocked in this way, so I can have Lizard here in the back. Some like that. And... I'll have Spider-Man in front. Like that. So, I really do like that stand. It makes for a nice little diorama display. Same kind of thing I did with the Avengers. I do really recommend this figure. It is, uh, it does have its quirks. Like I mentioned the tail is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, the size can be a little bit, I mean, while it's nice and big, with its big long tail, it can be make a displaying kind of a, a pain also. But articulation, it's great. It looks pose, uh, posing. It is uh, really interesting, so you can get them in real menacing stances like this, which is my favorite way to do it. But it was like his back is arching back, and then is kind of leaning forward, gives them just a real nice look I do kinda wish it had like his torn up lab coat that he did have for a short time period in the movie just to make it look a little bit more comic accurate because I was not quite a fan of him just being buck naked like this cause uh... The lizard had uh... his lab coat in the comics so that's about it I really do recommend nice nice looking figure I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the ultimate spider-man though yet I might just not not sure yet it would look kind of weird with the rest of the movie figures though all right until next time thank you for watching